Our top story tonight, the House of Assembly reopened today with MHAs arguing over exactly how many of them are necessary to run the province. The government has introduced Bill 42, which proposes to cut 10 seats in all from the House of Assembly and to redraw the electoral map before the next election. But Liberal leader Dwight Ball has presented a counter offer that could see as few as six seats eliminated. NTV's Michael Connors joining us live from the newsroom with more tonight. Michael? Thank you very much, Glenn. Well, today, Premier Paul Davis accused Liberal leader Dwight Ball of flip-flopping on the issue of cutting seats. That's after Ball laid out three demands he wants met before he'll support Bill 42. Wasn't really expecting to see you all so soon, but welcome. And with that welcome from the Speaker, the House of Assembly reopened for a rare January sitting. I give notice to the last leave to introduce a bill entitled an act to amend the Electoral Boundaries Act, Bill Number 42. Bill 42 is what has brought MHAs back to their seats. The amendments to the Electoral Boundaries Act proposed to cut 10 seats from the House of Assembly. It'll give the Electoral Boundaries Commission 120 days to redraw the electoral map. And it will remove the guarantee of four seats for Labrador, although Torngat Mountains and Northern Labrador will still be protected. Fully support an independent commission uh, carrying out the work of determining the boundaries. Uh, what we're changing is the timelines of when this takes place. Opposition leader Dwight Ball supports cutting seats, but he won't support the bill unless he gets three amendments. One, he wants the Boundaries Commission to be able to choose a range of 38 to 42 seats. Two, if the commission cannot get its work done in 120 days, he wants the provincial election to go ahead in 2015 with the existing 48 districts. And three, he wants the guarantee of four seats to stay in place for Labrador. What's happening here? is a PC government setting the Boundary Commission up for failure and subsequently seeking to delay the 2015 general election. If the government does not accept the amendments, the Liberals won't rule out a filibuster. But the important thing here is to have that meaningful debate in the House of Assembly. So to predetermine what would happen over the next coming days would, uh, would not be the appropriate thing to do right now. Premier Davis said he would review Ball's amendments before making a decision on them. We'll have a look at his amendments and uh, we'll, we'll have to give, uh, you know, look to it and, and uh, consideration of what it is he's proposing. I haven't had a chance to do any of that yet. NDP leader Lorraine Michael is considering her own amendments. She's waiting to see how the debate proceeds before deciding whether to filibuster. I'm looking forward to a full discussion. I'm looking forward to taking the time to ask the questions that need to be asked and not only ask questions but to put forward what we believe should be happening. Dwight Ball is also challenging the Premier to cut three ministers from his cabinet and all of his parliamentary secretaries as a way to save money. The Premier said all options are on the table. Glenn? All right, thank you, Michael. Michael Connors joining us from the newsroom.